We came to the end, and we're going to do the letter E and U. But when I say E, I don't mean, I don't mean this letter. Oh no. When I say E, I'm talking French. I'm talking about this letter. Okay, so E has that sound. E, unless. It is put next to an A, so it makes E. Or next to this one, it also makes E. Or if it is in front of an N or an M, in that case it makes that sound. Uh. We've seen this before. That's basically it. So let's see some examples. Une fille. Remember when what we said about the E and the L? That it usually makes Y. So, this is a pigtailed girl with a crooked smile. Une fille. And it means a girl. Un fil. Which means... A thread. Une file means a queue of people or any kind of line. Okay. Une fille, un fil, une file. Okay? Now I'm gonna sound like a real ignorant because I am too lazy to even find out how this is pronounced. I'll explain it to you. Now, we have seen, seen in the past that this is en, correct? But in this case, it's an exception. This sound here is the same as this sound here and is the same as this sound here. We already knew about this too. But in this case, because this word is an exception, they all sound the same. And it's pronounced, can you guess? Un, we do the liaison, un indien. And of course, it means an Indian. Or a person from India. And this is the part where I said that I am an ignorant and lazy because I don't know if they're called Hindu or Indian. These things keep changing all the time. But it definitely means an Indian. Now, remember how we said that N can be replaced by M if there is a B or a P? Well... Un timbre, which means um, stamp for the post, but it also means um, the tonality and, and that specific um, characteristic in your voice. I don't uh, know the, the exact English word for this one. God, I haven't done my homework, but let's try to say it together. Un timbre, 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 very good, un timbre, un indien, I keep forgetting those things here, un timbre, okay, so basically E is just E, for instance, we've seen before, un papier, or haven't we? I made so many videos, I forget, which means paper. Un papier. Un cahier, which means a notebook. Cahier. In French, this letter is never, never, never pronounced. You will never hear a French person go, 
And this is why French people suck at speaking English. Because if they have to say hospital, they will say hospital. And basically, it sucks. So, make sure to remember that rule. Whenever you see this, you do not pronounce it. It's like it doesn't exist. Okay. So, this is for the E. Um, of course, like in most languages, E with two little things like that is to separate it from whatever is next to it and make it sound E. For instance, if you have E, if you put this, then it becomes I. I think it's pretty understandable. And for the letter uh, U, we already know that this makes E, which is one of the basic sounds. Huit, like we said, we don't pronounce this. Huit, and it means eight. Huit. And an exception again, an album. I don't think there, there are many uh, words finishing like that unless they are uh, directly coming from Latin or something. Um, and it means an album. So it's one of the few times when you don't actually pronounce it. Uh. So that's that's it. That wraps it up for um, uh, uh, for the e and the u. Um, please go back to all your sounds and um, study well, because I will post a test online for uh, you to test yourself to see how well you remember the different sounds and how you can recognize them. Because if you know this, this is the basis. If you can recognize um, French words, how they are pronounced and how they are read, even if you don't know what they mean, you have won the biggest challenge in French. Because the biggest challenge is to understand what it is that you are reading, that this is not un, un, okay? But it is un. And the second challenge is to be able to say it. And this is what I'm here for. Don't hesitate to uh, contact me and I will get on Skype with you and I will help you out if I can. And if I have the time. I, um, I don't usually charge for these uh, lessons. Um, I only charge people who come at home and I do private lessons with them. But uh, if I have the time, I will definitely help you out through a camera. So, but I need to see you, you know, having done the work. I'm not actually going to spend time and um, work these things with you. Work. And if you have, you're stuck somewhere, do not hesitate to call me. So, um, the next lesson will be a, a test for you to see how far you've gone to see if you can recognize uh, a few new words that I will introduce based on what we learned. And then it gets exciting because we're going to put verbs and we're going to put little prepositions and little adjectives. And you're going to start speaking French, my friend. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.